Thank you very much, everybody. Make no mistake about it. I'm here because of crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of our country. He's destroying our country. This country is being destroyed rapidly, not slowly, rapidly on the borders, on energy, on inflation, and on everything. You can name Afghanistan removal, everything, what he's done, he's destroying our country. And he's also destroying it with weaponization. And this is purely his weaponization. See who's in the courtroom. You go see who's in the courtroom. You'll see and you'll see where they come from. And if you report it accurately, a lot of people are going to be very upset. But this is all his election hunting, election interfering. It's going after Joe Biden's political opponent because he can't do it himself. And they are helping out. And we have a judge who is highly conflicted. He happens to be corrupt. It's the worst confliction. It's the worst that anybody's seen. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. There can't be the prospect of an impropriety. And it's a shame. Wall Street Journal editorial board today. Alvin Bragg has approved this case in the Trump trial. The evidence shows where the charges should have never been brought. After 20 days in court and a trial transcript of 4,000 pages, the missing piece is still the missing piece. There is no crime. Wall Street Journal, Jonathan Turley. A classic closing pitch by the lawyers is to use a physical object like a three-legged stool. If any three-legged stool is missing, any leg is missing, the stool absolutely collapses. Even a cursory review of the evidence shows that this case does not have a leg to stand on. This case without a leg to stand on. This is Jonathan Turley. This case, the case against Trump, should end in a very strong not guilty. Not guilty. I don't know these people, but they're great legal scholars. Greg Jarrett. Every defendant has the fundamental right to be informed of the nature of the cause of the accusation against him. But Bragg never abided by that constitutional guarantee. Even worse, Merchan. Let him get away with it. He let Bragg get away with a trial that Bragg didn't want to push, and he should have done it seven years ago. They were going to do it. They should have brought this case seven years ago. Not the middle of my presidential election, where we're leading by a lot. Biden, by a lot. They brought it right in the middle of the election. Hopefully, it doesn't work out for them in the same way that this local court has been misused to enforce a federal law over which he has no authority or jurisdiction. They have a federal law which they are using, but they have absolutely no authority, and under the federal law, I did nothing wrong. Andy McCarthy, former FEC Commissioner Bradley Smith, who's the expert that they wouldn't allow me to use. He's the number one in the country. FCC Commissioner Bradley Smith's testimony would have established that Trump cannot have willfully violated an FECA, that's Federal Election Campaign Act, because NDAs are not campaign expenditures. You know, there's nothing wrong with an NDA. They're signed all the time. Like many companies, they sign them. They literally, on an hourly basis, because NDAs cannot have, and then it says Trump did not have, FICA legal duty with respect to them. He could not have intentionally flouted the known legal duty. In other words, he's innocent. Mark Levin, same thing. The Bragg case is about lawfare run amok up against the former president running against the president also represents the greatest effort to interfere and steal an election. Donald Trump did nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. This is everybody saying it, except we have a judge who's corrupt. We have a judge who's conflicted. You know what the conflict is. So do I, but I can't say it because I'm under a gag order, which is another unconstitutional thing. You ever heard of a president leading candidate, leading Biden, leading everybody? And I have a gag order. I'm not allowed to speak. It's the first. No president has been allowed to speak, but this is it. We got the cover today of the New York Post. Read all the stories in the New York Post. Everybody says this is crazy. This is a trial that should not have happened. It's a, 
It's a very sad day. It's a dark day in America. We have a rigged court case that should have never been brought and should never been brought in another jurisdiction. As you know, we asked for that and the judge never allows us anything. And just to end, we had an election expert who was going to say everything was perfect and the FEC did nothing and it was fine. And we had a lot of other people. I could have given you a list of 40 people that would have said the exact same thing as these people said. So thank you all very much. We'll just see how it goes. And this is a very dangerous day for Americans. A very sad day. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support this little media project, you can go to my Substack for Decoding Fox News or Patreon for Decoding Fox News and become a paid subscriber or paid supporter. I have no large donors, I have no advertisers, and I have no sponsors. I'm doing this as a newsroom of one. You can also find me on Twitter, also known as X, Threads, Facebook, at my fan page at Julia Jeske, TikTok, and Instagram. Thank you so much.